Um, I'm going to give you a little poem, just to... Are you guys all right? Yeah. Uh, I'll give you a short poem and then we'll get on with the proceedings, yes? This is called Sweetheart, and I'd like you all to close your eyes and just listen to the words. <clears throat> I kiss my sweetheart on the neck and get you down, she says, and wrestles me to a private place that's covered in moss and where the sun shines and bugger me if I'm not in love and bugger me if I'm not in debt and I kiss my sweetheart on the calf muscle because she likes it there and so do I and what's it to do with bloody you or any bugger where we kiss now in 1937 as a young boy I was fortunate enough whilst on a Boy Scouts uh, exchange trip to Belgium to run across a group of artists who represented for me the best in postmodern audio persuasion. I sat at the back I sat at the back <laughs> of the Café du Quack in La Gare and listened intently as music that soothed not only my consciousness, but in fact my war crimes, melted <laughs> into my ears. Ladies and gentlemen, that group of musicians are here tonight. <laughs> and they're going to give to you, I think, something that's not only going to please your sensibilities in this room, but that is going to somehow seep into your consciousness, and particularly your audio consciousness and subconsciousness. And when you get home, I think you'll feel a a slightly warm throb, even on an evening like this, uh, of satisfaction. Me damn and hair and ladies and gentlemen, Presbyterian and Mormons, the Windsors. <laughs> <laughs>